Hi there, Frank here from Remic, and in this video, we're going to walk you through the new functionality in 3.90 BT and BTX, and I'm going to go step by step so everybody understands what this new powerful functionality can do for us. So I'm just starting to be, I'm just starting out with this market replay, as you can see, a very familiar ES chart, a very small chart, so we can see some action going. All right, so first things first, I'm going to right click on the chart, choose strategies and put BT on the chart. Here we go. All right, and we'll be only focusing on the order sets because that's where the new functionality is. And I'm starting with the simplest situation. So only order set one, which means order set two is zero. And you can see that if I'm not using something, then that will disappear from the list so we can keep the interface simple. Also, I'm not going to use any adjusting initial stop functionality. So here's the basic situation. Position size is one. And let's suppose I want my target eight ATRs away. This is just an example, of course, from my entry. And let's suppose that I want my stop eight eight yards away from my entry on the other side. All right, now notice please that if I click OK and if I activate this strategy, trades will be entered with this target and with this stop, but these stops and the targets will not move. All right, so the trade will develop as it will, whatever will happen will happen, but these, the stop and the target will never move. This can be beneficial actually in certain situations. For example, you just want to test or run a back test with a certain setting and not really worried about trailing stops and such. Okay, so in this example, I'm just going to use the same target, same stop. I'm going to enable the strategy, click OK, and we're just gonna run this quickly activate the strategy so the button is blue i'm going to speed it up a little bit and let's see what happens i'm going to i can stop the tape anytime i want so here we go we are in the first trade as you can see the target is exactly 3 8 yards away as calculated by the program and the stop is also and happens what happens, but these two will not move. So let's see what's next. Here we go. My target got hit. My stop got removed. It's an OCO order. So the thing works. This is the simplest scenario. Let's move on. Second situation. So I'm going to disconnect. We'll start from scratch. I'll remove the strategy. Here we go. I'm going to start market replay again, the ES, same chart, same starting situation. Here we go. So I'm going to right click on the chart, put BT on. Go down to order set one, which is what I'm testing right now. So remember order set two for the time being anyway, it will be zero because we are focusing on order set one. Okay, one contract again, profit target, let's say 10, that's fine with me. Initial stop, let's say 10 ATRs, fine with me. Now this time, however, we're going to switch on the new functionality, which is adjust initial stop. This is new in 3.9 and check this out. I click on it, which means I switch on the functionality. The settings appear. So here's the question BT is asking me. So do you want to adjust initial stop after the trade is entered? Yes, I do. After how many bars do you want to adjust the stop? Let's say after 10 bars. Good. And how close you want the stop to be pulled up at that point after 10 bars? Let's suppose that I want my stop to be pulled up to one ATR behind price behind the current price, not the entry price, but wherever price will be at that moment, one ATR behind, okay? Now also note please that 
we are not calling this a trailing stop because this stop will not be trailing. This stop will be pulled up to 180 ATR behind and it will stay there. No trailing. So technically, this is not a trailing stop. This is a initial stop which we adjusted. Okay, so this is how it works. Again, one contract, 10 ATR target, 10 ATR stop, and after 10 bars, I will tighten the stop to 1 ATR behind price. Let's see. I'm going to enable the strategy. Beautiful. Switch on the strategy and start playback. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and let's see what happens. Same situation on the chart. So here we go. Now I'm going to stop the tape so you can see that 10 ATRs target away, stop is below me, 10 ATRs away, so far so good. One contract only. Now remember what we did, we're counting 10 bars because after 10 bars, the stop will be adjusted. In other words, tightened, but it will not be trailing, just adjusted. Let's see. We have to give it some time, here we go. Hopefully, we will get to 10 bars still in the trade. So we'll give the program, the algorithm to tighten the stop. We can count the bars even. Bar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think at the close of this bar, something should happen. Let's see. Depending on if I count it correctly, something should happen. Here we go. On the close of bar 10, a dramatic thing happened, an event. My stop with lightning speed has been tightened to 180R behind price, current price. That way I can lock in profits. But just note, if I use this method, this stop will not further trail anything. Just repeating the basic fact. Let's see what happens. Wherever price goes, if price decides to keep going, that's fine. Maybe we'll get stopped out. Maybe we'll hit the target, who knows? But that stop will not further move. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so we can check out what happens in the future. Here we go. So you can see the stop is, has been adjusted, but it's stationary. So either our stop will get hit if price comes back or our target will get hit, in which case the trade is removed. Let's see which one happens next. Okay, so we got hit. This situation has been now demonstrated. The stop adjustment took place. I tightened the stop and the program did what it was instructed to do. So far, so good. Let's look at some other situations. I'm gonna disconnect the data feed. And again, we're just going to start from scratch. I'm gonna connect to playback again, going back to the initial situation on the ES, but we're going to change the settings a little bit. So I'm gonna wait for the chart to get ready. Here we go, the chart is ready. So right click on the chart, put the strategy on, which for us is now BT. Okay, again, I'm only focusing on the order sets because that's where the changes are. And again, second order set is zero, so there's nothing there. All right, so let me start from the same situation. Order set one, one contract, target, stop, and I'm tightening. Remember in the previous exercise, I've tightened the stop to one ATR, after 10 bars. Okay, so far so good. Now, why don't we make it a bit more complex? Let me add a one contract in the second order set. So I just click here, change the number to one, and all these settings pop up, you see? Now here we have to slow down a little bit and consider what we are doing. So first of all, second order set, in the previous version, there was no target. Remember 3.8, there was no target. Now in this one, it is possible to 
attach a target, profit target, how many ATRs. You don't have to. If you want to switch it off and use the way you used it in 3.8, which means just trailing from behind, that's perfectly possible. If you, however, want to add a target to the second order set, no problem. By the way, the order set is just a bag of contracts, so it doesn't have to be one. This could be three or five or nine or whatever you put here. I'm just using one as a default number. So let's suppose, let's see what we're doing here. First order set, just like last time, 10 ATR target, 10 ATR stop. After 10 bars, I'm tightening a stop to one ATR behind price. Simple, no problem. Second order set, one contract. I'm going to set the profit target to the same value as the first contract, which is good. Initial stop, let's suppose same value as the first one. Makes sense. Now, do I want to adjust the initial stop? Yes. Why don't we do the same thing that we did in the first contract, which means after 10 bars, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to tighten the stop to one ATR behind price. Now the trigger level after three ATRs, do I want to use it? Maybe I want to use it, but maybe I don't want to use it. So since my target is three ATRs away, if I set this to some crazy big number like 30, it would never get triggered. So basically the trigger level is so far away, 30 ATRs from price that probably we would never get triggered. This way I can test this new functionality. All right, so I'm also using a parabolic trailing stop, but since this initial stop adjustment is actually stationary, then there will be nothing parabolically trailed in this example. So I hope that this makes sense because the parabolic trailing stop, if you think about it, only applies to the trigger level and the trailing stop algorithm but they're very, very far away again, so they will not get triggered in this trade, all right? So stop here if you want, stop the tape and think it over. These are the settings, consider the settings. And now I'm going to enable the strategy, put it on the chart. I'll start the tape a little faster so we don't have to wait that much. Here we go. We're going to be soon in a trade. We kind of know what's going to happen on the chart already. Here we go. So in this case, there are two contracts, two contracts, 10 ATR stops, 10 ATR start target. So far, so good. Let's see what happens as price develops. Remember what we did after 10 bars, what we are expecting to happen is that after 10 bars, both stops will get pulled up, in other words, tightened to one ATR behind price. Let's see if that exactly is what's going to happen here. So we have about five, six, six, seven bars. Let's get to bar number eight after the entry. And here we go. Oh, 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 that was too fast. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let me play this experiment one more time. All right, so here's the chart. Let's do this quickly again. So I'm going to put BT on the chart. Here we go. Enable it. No, I'm not going to enable it yet. Let's do the contracts first. So first contract, first order set, trailing second order set, 10, 10, 10, 1. Adjustment, 1 ATR behind price. And the trigger level, remember, it was so far away that it would never get triggered anyway. So this is how it was. Let's enable the strategy, click on OK, and now activate and start. And I'll be careful not to speed it up too much so we can watch the events unfolding here. OK, here we go. We are in a trade, two contracts, 10 up, 10 ATRs down. So far, so good. Remember what we're expecting. This is bar number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On bar 10, we expect stop to get pulled up one ATR behind price. Okay, so we are approaching bar number 10. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So on bar 10, 
the stop, both stops have been adjusted to 180 yard behind price. You see price and the little bit below is this is 180 yard distance. So the thing works and remember this stop is an adjusted stop, which means it's stationary, which means it will not further move. We know what's gonna happen. It's, we're gonna hit the target again, unless we get stopped out. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like the target will get hit and the program is behaving as designed. Now it's important to emphasize that this is a sophisticated algorithm with very advanced functionality Think of it like a car or an airplane, the dashboard. There's many, many instruments in the car on the dashboard, of course, and we should know which one does what, but it doesn't mean that we have to use everything all the time. Of course, we're not going to use everything at the same time simultaneously. We have to consider which functionality we want to use in certain situations and how we want to trade. The, here we go, we're out, we hit the target. As software designers are job is always to provide a product with which everything you ever wanted to do is possible, becomes possible. And that's what we're doing with 3.9. All right, let's move on. And let me disconnect again and start from scratch. Remove the strategy. Here we go. Reconnect to market replay. Okay. Wait till the chart gets ready. And then we'll move on to the next level of sophistication and demonstration of functionality, the new functionality in 3.9. Okay, the chart is ready. Again, right click on the chart, put BT on, and I'm focusing on the two order sets as usual. So here we go. Order set one is 10-10, tighten after 10 bars. Good to me, no problem. Let's think about the second order set a little bit. What we want now, you will notice that order set one, trailing is not possible. If you want, so this is where you will put your contracts where you do not want trailing. You just want one tightening, which we call adjustment, but not trailing. If you want to trail, those contracts must go to order set two. All right, let's see. By the way, if you only want contracts which are actually being trailed, then you simply put zero here. And then order set one will be empty. Okay, but in this example, let me get back to using order set one with one contract, as in the previous example. All right, now let's think about the settings here in order set number two. One contract, profit, target, same as before. Adjust initial stop, yes. Yes, let's adjust initial stop after 10 bars, but let's not tighten the, the, first, the first order set. Let's keep the tightening very tight. We want to take some profits. That's fine. The second order set, however, yes, I do want to adjust stop from 10 to, let's say, 8, just a demonstration. So after 10 bars, our stop will be adjusted a little bit. And then what I want, once we have hit, let's say, five ATRs in profit, I want that stop to start trailing. And this is where sophistication, well, further sophistication begins in, second, in the second order set, because you can actually start trailing, as we already know, because in previous versions, this was also like this. So what do I want to do here? When we get five ATRs, in profits, then I want my trading stop to start trailing at 5, 8 years behind price. And then I want my parabolic trailing stop to tighten, 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 tighten until we get stopped out by either our stop or by either hitting our target. All right, so this is a even more advanced sophistication. Of course, if you do not want to use the parabolic trailing stop, which means the acceleration, then you just switch this off. Then it will trail at a regular distance. If you want the parabolic trailing stop to switch on, that will tighten, tighten, tighten with every candle. The 
distance between the stop and the current price. All right, so let's see. This in practice, I'm going to activate the strategy, switch it on, here we go, and then start the tape. All right, let's see what happens. A speed of 20. So here we are in a trade now. So far, everything's the same as before. We have a target, we have a stop, no problem. So the first event we're expecting is that after 10 bars, one contract will be tightened with an adjusted stop to 180 yard behind, remember? And then the second contract will be tightened as well to 880 yard behind and we'll get trailing started when we get five, eight yards in profits. I think I managed to sum up what we just did. And let's see this whole thing in practice. So first event we're expecting is an event up on the 10th bar. One contract will be tightened. And actually the second contract will be tightened too, I think, to eight, eight years behind. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, fantastic. The first contract, order set one, now has the trailing stop, actually, sorry, adjusted stop to 180 yard behind. And the second contract, also an adjusted stop at this point, because it is still stationary at 880 yard behind current price. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's continue and let's see what happens. And this, if we continue this, then the next event will be profits reaching 580 yards, at which point the second adjusted stop will start to trail. But remember, the first adjusted stop will stay where it is now. Let's see if this is actually what's going to happen. Okay, so it's, I don't know exactly when the five ATR in profits will be reached, but we can believe the program. When it's reached, we will see, because events will happen. And we're expecting the lower adjusted stop to move up and start trailing, which means it will become, here we go. At this point, we know that five ATRs in profit has been reached. The lower stationary adjusted ATR has instantly has become a trailing stop, which is a moving stop at this point, while the other trailing stop, which was stationary, continues to be stationary. Here we go, let's finish the trade, and let's, hopefully, we're expecting one of the stops to trail. Here we go. Here we go, it is trailing while the other is stationary. Beautiful. Of course, the mathematics and the considerations we can talk about later. Right now, we are just talking about the functionality in the software just to demonstrate what is possible. The stop is moving, is being trailed, while the other stop continues to be stationary. So just to point out, we're not talking about now what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, how you want to trade, how you don't want to trade, all this stuff, it comes later. Right now we're just demonstrating what the software can do. So we can see the stop is being trailed and let's see either the stop or the targets will be hit. And since both targets are expected to get hit, both contracts, including the OCO stops will be removed from the market. Let's see what happens. That's it. One target got hit. That's just a little tick difference probably. And now the second contract is also hit. But now we know that now definitely both contracts got hit and we are flat. So 
To sum it up, this is basically the new functionality in 3.9. This gives us further possibilities. All right, so the next job is to, let's see if there's one more thing we can do with this. So I'm just gonna load the chart again. Okay, so the chart is ready. I'm gonna load BT again. So here is BT one more time. Uh, let's look at these order sets again, if there's anything else we can do here. So let's say I'm gonna keep one. So I'm not going to change the first one. Okay, I could, but I'm not going to in this example. However, the second one, let's see what I can do here. Profit target, okay. Well, all right. Well, why don't I set the profit target to 15, all right? Another different profit target from the first one. And why don't I set the first stop to 15? So you will see visually on the chart that the two targets and the two stops will not be the same. So far, so good. And then the adjusted stop. Okay, well, why don't I adjust it five ATRs behind price and the trigger level, let's say, let's suppose I want to start trailing when we have three ATRs in profits, how about that? And I want to start trailing five ATRs behind. And I do want to use the parabolic trailing stop, but perhaps a more aggressive trailing stop this time. So I'm gonna use 0202, which is the the default setting actually, and it means 2% acceleration. And I'm going to use 05, 5% maximum acceleration. All right, so again, the settings, first order set, just like before, 10, 10, but the second order set is 15, 15. So we'll see the difference in the chart. And then adjusted stop after 10 bars, but also if we get three ATRs profit, then I will start trading no matter what. You see, so after that, if I'm already trailing, and this is very, very smart, it could happen, and this is important to emphasize that this is a very intelligent algorithm, which means that, let's consider this, this, and let's consider the second one. All right, so here we go. After 10 bars, I'm going to tighten stop to five ATRs, yes. But also, if I hit three ATRs in profit, if I reach three ATRs in profit, I will start trailing five ATRs behind. But the rule is, once I start one of these actions, the other action will get deactivated. If I already trail, it doesn't make sense to fiddle with the adjusted stop because I'm already trailing it. Make sense? So I'm trying to set this up in such a way that this actually will happen sooner than this. And I will be able to demonstrate to you that once this is trailing, this will never get activated. So this is the example I'm trying to demonstrate. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to enable the strategy. Here we go. And let's see what we can do here. All right, so same situation. I'm waiting for an entry. And remember, the stop target will be different now for the two contracts. That's one thing I'm expecting. I'll stop the tape when it happens. I keep saying tape, but it's actually just a software. Here we go. So perfectly, perfectly perfect. Look at this, the 10 ATR, 15 ATR, 10 ATR, 15 ATR. So the two contracts are differently starting to do the trade. And now I am going to wait for two events. One, and it's an either or event. Either on candle 10 price, actually the stop will be adjusted. That's one thing that can happen. And also, if we get three ATRs in profits, then I will start trailing. And once, it's either A or B, but not both. So let's see which one happens first. I don't really know. So perhaps the 10 bar will happen first. Let's see. Okay, a couple of more bars. Here we go. Beautiful, so I think this was the, first of all, 
Order set one, tighten the stop, adjusted the stop, to use a technical word, to 1 ATR. That's order set one. Remember, we've been doing that for three, four examples, so there's nothing new there. And the second order set, what we said that after 10 bars, let's tighten stop to 5 ATRs from the entry on the second order set. On candle 10, we tightened both stops. We adjusted both stops. One, order set one to one ATR behind, and order set two to five ATRs behind. Now at this point, important to note, at this moment in time, these stops are not trailing stops. They are adjusted stops. And also, obviously, order set one will continue, will stay and remain an adjusted stop. So order set one will never start trailing because there's no trailing in order set one. However, if we start, if we continue to move up and reach three ATRs in profits, then order set two adjusted stop will become a trailing stop. So I expect one of the stops, the one below, to start trailing while the other one will stay where it is. Let's see if, in fact, that's what's going to happen here. So sooner or later, I'm going to get the three ATR. Here we go. Three ATRs in profit has been reached because the second order, the second adjusted stop from this moment on is now a trailing stop. Let's verify that information. Further advances in profit will further tighten the second stop. Here we go. And this is exactly what's happening. Look at that, beautiful. And now one of the stops is moving. The other one is 92.25, it's staying where it is. The 93.25 will continue to be tightened, continue to trail with a given defined acceleration. Beautiful. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a major further enhancement of an already powerful algorithm. And now, of course, the next step is to become creative. First target hit, the second stop, adjusted stop, is a stationary stop, so it will stay where it is, and we know already that the target will get hit because we've seen this chart before. Okay, and now from this point on, of course, you can run various versions of backtesting with these various settings. Now, one warning, there's no use in overcomplicating things. So just because you have a sophisticated dashboard in the car doesn't mean that we have to press all the buttons at the same time. Of course not. We consider, depending on the situation, what is what makes sense for us to use at any given time or a situation or not. So this gives us further optionality, a lot of other potential possibilities here that we can consider and design and use in our trading strategies. All right. We're going to have other videos where we get into how probably you can think about using these. But right now in this first video, this is perfectly fine. We just went through the new options. Again, these options, just to look at it, are under order sets. The other parts of the programs have not changed. Order set one, order set two, and no obligation to use both, of course. If you set it to zero, that order set will not be used. The major difference, just to recap between the two order sets, is that order set two, you can turn a stop into a trailing stop. Order set one, a stop never becomes a trailing stop. You can adjust it, but you cannot turn it into a trailing stop. Beautiful. I'm very happy about this release and we're going to do some tests and also we're going to do our best to help you guys to make the best use of this powerful new functionality. So much for now. Thank you very much and mindful trading.